Now, looking at the APA write-up for ordinal logistic regression, right, and we're using fictitious data here. Ordinal logistic regression, the write-up is quite a bit more calcul um, complicated than other logistic regression uh, tests that you may run. Earlier in the presentation, I said that you know, ordinal logistic regression can be either an extension of multiple linear regression or an extension of bivariate logistic regression. This particular write-up that I have here leans more towards the bivariate logistic regression because we're actually going to report the odds ratio. If you were not concerned with the odds ratio and you were leaning more towards uh, a linear regression output, then you would include the threshold estimates that were put as part of the parameter estimates. Um, speaking regarding the, the threshold, what those actually mean or how they can be interpreted is, you know, we're all very familiar with the mathematical uh, formula for a straight line, which is uh, y is equal to mx plus b. In terms of linear regression and multiple linear regression, we have y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 m1 um, or beta 1 uh, x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x3 and so forth. Since we have threshold values, we're actually not setting an equal sign to y. We're looking at the threshold value as the y, but we're looking at either being greater than y or less than y. And that's how we would actually determine where the participant is going to land based on our mathematical model. But since, and on this particular output, since I'm focusing more on a bivariate, I'm looking more at the odds ratios. So looking at this, this template here, we would start with an ordinal logistic regression analysis to investigate our research question was conducted. The predictor variables were tested a priori to verify there was no violation of the assumption of no multicollinearity. The predictor variable, name of the variable, and this first sentence is really for those which are scale, right? In the ordinal logistic regression analysis was found to contribute to the model. The ordered log odds, which is our estimate, right, is equal to www. We give the standard error, the walled, and then our p-value. The estimated odds ratio favored either a positive or inverse relationship of nearly so many fold, and we put in our exponentiated estimate, right, which is ZZZ in our confidence interval. For every one unit increase of that particular scale variable. Now, the next sentence is for the non-scale variables. The predictor variable, and we name our variable, which is nominal, in the ordinal logistic regression analysis was found to contribute to the model. The ordered log odds, which is our estimate, equals www, our standard error, our walled statistic, our p-value. The estimated odds ratio favored either as a positive or inverse relationship of nearly so many fold, and then we get the, the exponentiated estimate with a 95% confidence interval, compared to the reference variable, and then we name our reference variable. That was the variable which is has the highest value. And so if you consider that we had so many, what was it, five or, or six um, independent variables with so many levels for this particular research question, you can see how this APA write-up actually grows quite large. But you have all of the output in SPSS, and you just have to plug in essentially the numbers and the names. But this also begs the question, do you look at your ordinal logistic regression as either an extension of linear regression or an extension of bivariate logistic regression? And to answer that, I would suggest, well, firstly, you want to consult with your chair and your committee. But secondly, when you do your literature review, take a look to see how did other researchers and other public, uh, other published works look at your particular research question, your particular issues. Did, were they focused more on a linear regression study and yours just happens to be ordinal? Or were they looking more at a bivariate logistic regression and yours just happens to be ordinal? So it would be important to actually match your findings, your write-up, with that which is already out in the literature. It would make a much better fit. So.